and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are stepping out of our comfort zone a little bit and trying some Japanese candy. I am nervous, I'm a picky eater, I hardly ever try food, but I saw all of these candies and I was thinking, why not? So the first Japanese candy we have today is Hello Panda. This is a new flavor. It's green tea with a crunchy shell. Whoa, I am not too excited, but this smells good. I got my water bottle ready. All right. I like these. I like them. They're shaped like little panda heads. They're so cute. Oh, they have a little panda face on them. They taste like animal crackers with a filling. Good job, Japan. I really like these. I'd recommend them. Up next, we have rice candy. I was told this is really popular. You can either eat it with the wrapper or... This is not what I expected at all. It's like a little chewy, almost, it feels like. Let's see. Oh. I think they meant this wrapper because it's thin and flaky and sticking to it. Here goes nothing. Okay, it's definitely chewy. I didn't expect it to be this chewy. I don't know this taste. It might be like citrusy. What is this? I'm not sure, but it made my mouth feel kind of like refreshed. I don't think it's something I eat all the time, but I definitely liked it. It was good. It was good. Uh... Next we have this. It says bean jelly. These kind of just feel like squishy pods. I believe this is all in Japanese, but the flavors on the back say salt, red bean, bean, and plum. So I'm just gonna open this and hope that I get plum. And of course, there is no label on these to tell which one you're eating. So we have pink, blue, purple, red, and I'm just gonna go with purple, hoping it's plum. It feels just like jelly, like an American small jelly pack, just in plastic. Let me get a napkin. It has no smell. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Are you just supposed to bite into this? I don't get it. Yeah, it's safe to say that I didn't like that. At first it has like no flavor and then after like a second you start to like taste it and it was kind of sweet, but the texture was so bland and kind of just like jelly. I did not like that one. I wonder what flavor I had. It's kind of lingering. Next, these look fun. I have no idea. It says Caplico stick. It looks like little ice cream sticks. There's three flavors and this is something that, oh, packaging is in like little hearts. That's so cute. When you open it, they're separated in like three flavors. I'm gonna try a strawberry. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It smells just like a strawberry milkshake. And it looks like a little strawberry ice cream cone. Oh my gosh. Really, it just tastes like strawberry ice cream. There's like this at the bottom. I'm not sure what that is, so I'm just gonna... Nutella -y taste? Carson approved. Next we have this soft candy. The flavor looks like it's great. This looks more of like a gummy, so I'm really excited. Gummies are so good. Oh my gosh, it smells like real grapes. It literally tastes exactly like a grape. If a grape were chewy and covered in sugar, it kind of reminds me of Airhead Extremes a little bit. Maybe this is our version. I don't know, it's really good. The English name for it at the top, I have no idea. This is it, if you wanna try it, I really like this. I'm a big fan. Next we have these pancakes with red bean paste. Maybe us Americans just like our chocolate. These smell really good. And they're individually packaged, this is so cute. It's like I'm unwrapping a little present. I'm gonna get a napkin for this one just in case. So far, I've just ate pancake, but it's still moist, even though it's obviously been packaged. Good job. This is the center, which is the rice bean paste, so. It really doesn't taste like anything or have too much of a taste. It's just kind of like sweet. Kind of if you put jelly or jam on something. It didn't really do anything for me. Next, we have these sweets. They look like chocolate little brownies. They're in like a chip bag, so I'm not too sure what to expect. They smell like a pack of Oreos. Not that I know what that smells like. Oh, they're cute. They're like little chocolate rice cakes. They're exactly like little chocolate rice cakes. You can tell coated in chocolate around. They're pretty good. They're really like light and fluffy. I approve. And last but not least, we have 
Chucky. This is a new flavor called Cookies and Cream. Carson loves her some cookies and cream, so. Pocky, you can definitely find in America at like grocery stores or I'm not really sure where, but you can find it. <gasps> it looks like a pretzel stick covered in cookies and cream. Mmm. I am disappointed. That was so sweet. I just didn't expect it to be so sweet, but also kind of bitter and having like a lingering taste. I would think this would be really good, but I am not a fan. Good thing I have these other snacks. These are savory Japanese snacks that I am totally gonna eat now. But thank you guys so much for being a part of my crazy weird life and this crazy weird Japanese food tasting video. Have you guys ever tried any of these candies? Comment below. Also, I would love to try candy from other countries, but I don't know where. So feel free to comment that below as well if you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you think I should do another one. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell next subscribe to turn on my post notifications and I'll see you guys with a brand new video tomorrow. Bye guys.